Namaskaram, welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host JK. First of all, I would like to thank the viewers, subscribers for giving a good response for our last book review or book discussion about Brahmin genocide. Thank you very much for that. The next thanks would be to Sri TV again for providing us the studio to do this recording or in fact this program and today yet another book review or discussion whichever you want to see that and this is about I would say is, is an esoteric subject or ethereal whichever way you want to see that again and the book is titled Advaita and Autism and this is written by a founder of Saumanasya who have been working for the welfare of autistic children or people and she's an author and then I would like to call her a music therapist and I'm happy to welcome Mrs. Lakshmi to P Guru's platform. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. How are you? Fine sir. Thank you. Personally, I feel this book is very, very on a higher level because Advaita it is not easy for a common man to understand. I guess you need a lot of, you need to be under tutelage of some guru or maybe you spend years and years to understand this highest level of consciousness called Advaita. And you are just connecting it with autism, who at least for a common understanding, autism is people who have not developed their mental psychology or that kind of impairs their physical well-being or growth what uh, it, it's kind of uh, flabbergasting even to think that Advaita and autistic can come together but you have done that in the book and in fact you said that even the picture of the cover has been designed by you and you have got a lot of compliment for that so bringing two things which people might not even understand can come together what is or how is that even possible when i first had experience to work with autistic children around 20 years back the very first question arises on that they are not mentioning the name mentioning the word i and me it was uh, I was wondering, knowing that, where is there, where, where is the there I and me? Because, for example, if a child name, uh, if a child name is Mukund, if he wants water, he used to say, Mukunds want water. He doesn't say, I want water. If a child, Anu wants Thai, she says, I know, uh, I want Thai, Anu wants Thai. This is very wondering and very, um, you know, uh, amusing for me. And uh, uh, silently I was observing such statements from these children. Over the years, over the years, I thought my, uh, my eyes in the higher level, very high level, like that, uh, predominantly I is coming, uh, immediately I open my mouth and where is there I? These are all the questions. These are all the questions helped me to uh, read sacred texts and to listen many discourses uh, from the uh, great people and it really helps me to elevate myself to little higher level I can say during our discussion I guess maybe before this recording we were, we were talking about you know um, the parents have the necessity or compulsion because as I said the autistic kids are in a different level or different plane than a normal human being or what we consider as a normal human being and it is 
from the parents' perspective that they want to bring up the kid to the level where the society accepts them. And yeah, personally you say, I heard you say that you, you got a, you're kind of polluting yeah, the autistic of child's mind. That statement is pretty strong or kind of that might open a lot of people's eyes in terms of how they approach an autistic kid. What made you say that? Yes. See, autistic children are coming to me with a lots of lacks. For example, a child may not sit at one place for even for five minutes at a stretch. It would be difficult for the child to get into a proper schooling setup. And even for the functional the activities, day-to-day uh, -day activities, it would be difficult for the whole family to handle with. The first and foremost uh, problem of uh, autistic children is hyperactivity. So, naturally, these autistic children, autistic people are inclined to music. Naturally, they are good singers. Even the non-verbal child may sing or may do a proper rhythm, you know. Uh, they have an ear for music. So, through proper music therapy, definitely we can address their lack such as hyperactivity and um, unwanted uh, uh, behavior reductions and uh, like um, they, we may increase their uh, cognitive level, including memory, focusing, and all. So, <clears throat> when a child comes to me with all the problems, once they, they get into the budget session, over the period of time, they can... Uh, they start manipulate, even start that need the society, especially the parents waiting for such moment. Uh, nowadays, he is very clever ma'am, he is very smart ma'am, he is doing like this, he is not before. So, these are all the questions I uh, would definitely at one point uh, made me thinking that, uh, are we polluting the child? Or we make the Advaita into Advaita to bhajan therapy in the name of um, curbing their hyperactivity? Yes, true. Through the music therapy, the Advaita, the single becomes two. The Advaita becomes Dvaita and then he started speaking, he started connecting with the world through the senses. So, what the neurotypical child uh, uh, does at that proper time, he may lack in the timings, but they slowly, they get into the neurotypical people, get into the society, what we need. Excellent answer, uh, response, if I may say. So, uh, diluting Advaita to become Dvaita, uh, I take it as such. Uh, so, again, uh, coming back to autism per se. So, the child. I, I guess you have written uh, very, very small anecdotes about a lot of people where I, I found, I, I kind of read about Jagdish uh, uh, Chandra Bose, uh, the Nobel laureate, right? He, he kind of saying that he has to become uh, the plant to feel the plant. This takes me to people like Jiddu Krishnamurti who always felt that the society is pushing a normal human being in full consciousness into something which it doesn't have to be, right? Pushing them into to a lower level of uh, consciousness so that it can simply survive in the society. Is that what you're trying to imply? Uh, definitely. Here I can say an example that I can see, a, see an autistic adult who was grieving on seeing a doll, unarmed doll. Because as far as he, as he concerned, he is not different from that doll. We can strengthen the Advaita philosophy over the period of such incidents. Right. It's true. It's true. 
So you, you, you've been treating autistic. Yeah. I won't call them patients at all. So autistic uh, kids or adults, right? Um, so my, my question is, how far have you been successful? Uh, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of testaments or credentials from the parents or from the society per se, stating that this has worked for them, right? So you, you're saying that they kind of manipulate the music uh, and obviously the parents are going to enjoy whatever uh, development the child is going to show. Uh, so he is coming out from the Advaita to Dvaita, all right? So I'm sure you're going to be happy per se because the, the kid has come to you so that he can develop some kind of cognitive sense, sure. some kind of uh, um, psychological development per se. How many how many kids or how many people that you've been, how long have you been doing that? I know that you have, you have done your PG in psychology, so you are uh, at least well qualified to do uh, this autism therapy, music therapy uh, per se. So how has been so far? Right, for how many years I, have you been doing Yeah, how many in this field from the past 20 years? 20 years. Two zero, two decades. Right. And I have been treating thousands of children. And not only that, I'm traveling all over India to bring out awareness on this title, Music Therapy for Autism, and conducting workshops. Even last year uh, uh, at Meghalaya, uh, a great university uh, invited me to do the workshop and like that all over India I'm traveling and uh, bringing the awareness and um, definitely uh, music therapy helps, helps them a lot in many ways like uh, on the whole it increases their cognitive level which in turn uh, helps in their learning learning in the sense not only education to uh, to do the self care and self hygiene to ADL we used to say uh, daily activities that's most important for them and um, in many ways it works and uh, to for better speech better self expression that's most important because they doesn't know how to express and when to express that's the main uh, lack in autism so any art especially music is the best art to self express and um, of course, uh, uh, they calm down, uh, get calmed down and control. Much regulation has come through music therapy. So after getting into music therapy, uh, traveling with the children and going out with the children would become easy. Definitely the first uh, report comes from the school only because they are, uh, the, uh, the whole day the uh, ch child would be in the school, the whole suffer at the teachers only. So definitely the first report comes from the teacher that nowadays uh, he obliges well. He um, stands uh, uh, in the queue properly. Every positive report comes from the school. And, uh, and not only for the outside, internally for each and every autistic child, grief would be there. And uh, since they are especially for the non-verbal child, um, they have more stress because they couldn't communicate and if they communicate in different way people are not understand not able to understand properly what they are conveying that is the, that is the main thing for uh, for the uh, especially normal children get more agitation and more self hurt and all so music plays a major role in regulating them makes them calm down once once a child gets calm it um, listens uh, listens what uh, the surrounding at the same time uh, it may convey in the proper way in a in a understandable way to the uh, family so music plays a major role one thing and almost all the artistic children are inclined to music they are good singers they are they have good rhythm sense even a non-verbal child they cannot say mama papa amma whatever but they can sing a bit of music beautifully right um you kind of said that sanskrit shlokas right i, I I'm, I'm pretty much a sanskrit aficionate so i love whenever sanskrit is celebrated wherever it is celebrated 
So Sanskrit being bhajans. a primary, Sanskrit bhajans being a primary source to calm them down. Sure. I'm really happy hearing that. Why, why is not why it is not any other language? Why it has to be Sanskrit? Yeah, well, good question. Because being uh, Chennai is a metropolitan, and I used to see um, uh, children from different region, and I used to see a Telugu child, a Kannada child, a Ma yeah, Malayalam child, a Gujarati child, a Rajasthani child, a Bihari child. So Sanskrit is the one proper one forum to take up with. If I if I put a Sanskrit bhajan commonly each and every child sh they can start speaking on their own language because the root is the sanskrit lovely my other question would be how well is this being received music therapy in the other form of for allopathy or ayurvedic or, or generally uh, the treatment of autistic children or adults how well is it received See, Not actually, music therapy in West and all, it's quite common. Right. Not only for autism, for all the ailments, they uh, practice music therapy in West. But, of course, India, uh, in India, it's a very ancient therapy. It's not a new therapy. In fact, I can say music therapy is a part of our life. We cannot lament uh, music therapy has a different field and we can put it in a different bucket. We no, can no, correct, correct. I guess that is for no normal people as well. I, I'm, I'm just thinking uh, that the idea of putting music into as a therapy for autistic kids, uh, how long it has been in, in, in vogue? Uh, since when it started and if you have kind of proper uh, the proponent of this therapy uh, how well it has been received by other um, therapists the normal uh, allopathy or normal psychologist per se see um, see I have been in this field from the past 20 years lots of magazines and dailies have uh, uh, put up the article about my work even though even though till now there are lots of people in this field in this field doesn't know about this therapy okay. right right okay yeah so uh, we need to still work hard hopefully yeah thank you very much I I'm sure people who are uh, not, not just the parents not just the common man uh, who are looking or watching this episode Hopefully, the therapist, the psychologists who are on the field will take a heed of what music therapy can achieve uh, with regards to autistic children. Thank you very much, madam, for your time. And hopefully, we're going to, I'm sure, uh, maybe I should give it up uh, or I should say that we're going to put it in their mind. But nonetheless, the society has to accept them that what seems to be a major concern of all the people. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for the Pay Guru's viewers. Thank you.